the kickstand has been removed. It looks like it's on one piece now, but it's really not. But before I show you that, let me show you why. One reason I kept this extra piece here on this this table I made. Yeah, it's just a scrap piece of wood. So I was like, whatever, I'll just use this. But I kept this because I got a face. See the eyes? And this is like his beard. It's like a little flame face. I kind of like him. So I wanted to keep him intact. Anyway, back to the kickstand. So as you can see, it's completely sheared in two pieces. And if you look, it didn't break at the weld. It broke beside the weld. Just a little flat plate that runs across there. And then it looks like the weld broke up here. So I've got two spots that I need to weld it back together at. There's the other pieces. Come on, focus. So these fit just like this. And then this pin here just runs through the top. That's how it works. So what I'm going to do is just clean up these interfaces uh, just with the wire wheel just to prepare it for welding. And what's crazy is that I cleaned this, this thing up. It had some oil residue, I guess, from a leaky uh, oil injection pump at one point. But I cleaned it up with mineral spirits and the paint in the spots that didn't get you know, road debris still looks brand new. It's kind of crazy for as old as this is. So I'll get those cleaned up and then take it home and do some welding. All done. Ready for welding. Alright, I welded this puppy up, put a fresh coat of paint on it. Not the best welds ever, but it'll do. It's definitely held together, so nothing to worry about there. Get down. The Blues Mobile must be driving around. That's a first. Instead of selling ice cream, they sell tears and bad luck. Before I install the kickstand, I'm going to clean out these two holes where the clevis pin rides. Um, it was a little difficult to get out, so I'm just going to clean them up with a pipe cleaner and a little bit of carburetor cleaner. It doesn't take much. Get some in there. Hold the scooter, I don't want to knock it over. Okay, that's good, and I'll do the same for the other side. Alright, now we install the kickstand. First things first, I'm going to use my old pal Anti-Seize. And put a little on this clevis pin, just to keep it from getting frozen up in there. Never know. Better safe than sorry. I'm not going to coat the whole thing, just I'm only going to coat the general area where it goes through the aluminum engine case because that's the main part I'm worried about. Anytime you have two dissimilar metals, steel and aluminum in this instance, it's very possible that corrosion will occur and effectively lock the two components together. So to prevent that, they make this nifty product called Anti-Seize. Guess what it does? It prevents things from seizing. How appropriately named. That's pretty good. Now before we go any farther, I want to note that this clevis pin is supposed to have a washer on the end and there was no washer present when I removed it. So what I've done is I, I've got a, a smaller washer that I need to drill out so that this clevis pin will fit through it. So it's just a standard quarter inch flat washer. 
So I took the clevis pin and I matched it up to a drill bit in my toolbox. And this drill bit is just slightly larger than the clevis pin. It may be hard to tell. So I'll drill the washer out with this and that will ensure that it will fit on, on the clevis pin properly. So I've got my kickstand here and I've got to install the spring again. Pretty sure it went like this. Yeah. I'll hook up the spring last. You can hardly see what I'm doing. I must get the flashlight. Ugh. Laying on the nasty floor. Springs in the way. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> Get a hammer. I welded this thing together with the clevis pin installed. So, you know, I guess it's just a little misaligned now. Or a lot misaligned. This is less than ideal. It's way off. I may have to end up putting this thing in the vise to try to straighten it. I don't really want to do that. <coughs> yeah, nowhere near going in there. Alright, I'll take it to the vise and try to straighten it. Okay, instead of putting it in a vise, I've got out my Big Daddy crowbar. Pry bar. And I'm going to try to just pry this thing into submission. without knocking the scooter over on myself. Maybe easier said than done. Great success! Tell you what, you have to really mean it if you want to put that kickstand down now. So reattach the spring, which is really a moot point given as tight as this thing is. Hmm. I need a smaller screwdriver. I'm not crazy about how difficult that is. Seems a bit out of whack. You know what? I'm afraid that I might break it trying to get it back into whack. So I'll just run it as it is. It'll do, pig. Again. Mer, mer. Now we install the washer and the brand new cutter pin. Alrighty, there we go. Dunzo. Now, during the intermission, I took the kickstand back off. 
and I I squeezed in the ears in my vise a little bit and now it works like butter like it's supposed to let's get this puppy off of this stand and onto its kickstand Yay! Now I accidentally, well I didn't accidentally do anything. I purposely drilled out one of the holes where the clevis pin goes through on the stand itself. And I, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I should have tried squeezing it in the vise first and then reinstalling it. But I figured two birds with one stone, so I drilled one of the holes out a little bit to help the clevis pin go through easier. Turns out it was unnecessary, so now because of that it has a slight wobble because the, the stand fits a little looser on the pin on one side. But it's no big deal. Not a critical issue. I wish I hadn't have done it, but nothing I can do about it now. Okay, I have a confession to make. It bugged me so much that there was so much play in the kickstand. Let me show you what I did. This hole here is the one I drilled out. And I'll show you what that means. So this is the hole that I didn't drill, and this fits pretty tightly. Not a whole lot of slop at all. This side, I drilled out. And there's a lot of slop. So it bugs me so much that what I've decided to do is I'm going to take a washer and weld a washer to the inside down here. So here's my washer. I drilled it out a little bit undersized <clears throat> and then I came through with one of these little sandpaper rolls on a, it's actually for a Dremel tool, but I chucked it up in the drill and then I went in here and just enlarged it just enough to where now this pin slides through but there's not any slop, I mean barely any. So I think now I'm going to have to notch this washer out to fit down in here. So that's what I'm going to do next, notch that washer out. Okay, so here's the washer, and I want to put it up in this hole here. And as you can see, it's not going to fit. So I need to notch the washer. So I'll mark it with a Sharpie. in the spots that I need to remove material. So you can see right there, I need to remove the material there so that I can get the washer close enough up over the hole. So I'm going to go to the bench grinder and just grind this off and I'll be back. I got the washer ground down to where it fits perfectly up in the uh, little notches there and I'm going to try to let you see how centered it is. There's an even ring of silver in the hole so that means that everything's centered up nicely. The camera catches a little bit of glare but the washer is the silver, the shiny spot in the center of the hole. So here's what the washer ended up looking like. I had to grind quite a bit of it off to fit in the, the crevice here. But I think that's going to work out nicely. So now all I've got to do is weld that in there. And that will eliminate all that slop that was bugging me from the kickstand. So back to the house to do more welding. Okay, sarah, sarah. I got the washer welded in down there. <laughs> it's not the prettiest job, but it'll do but a little bit of weld got into the the hole so I got to do me a little bit more grinding so that this clevis pin here will fit through the hole it's always something so I've got my little sandpaper drum checked up on my drill again So 
just about there. I had to flip the sanding drum around. I didn't get it tight enough, clearly. Forget it, I'm gonna grab a file. There, dude. I can live with that. And look how tight it is. Like no play. Factory side. A little bit of play. This side, none. Yikes, bitch. All right, I got the kickstand mounted back up after the repair. And looky here, no more wobble. I mean, of course there's some wobble, but there's no more click, 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 click. It's much more sturdy, and I am happy with this. So I'm done with this thing for now. A big bore kit is definitely in its future, and perhaps some work with the clutches, and uh, of course a battery. A battery is only like $20. I just, I had a battery for this, and then the battery in my KTM went out and just so happens this battery fit perfect in the KTM so I used it so I gotta get another battery that is all thanks for watching